இங்கிலீஷ் ஹை ஸ்பீடு ஒன் ஃபிஃப்டி வேட் பெர் மினிட் லேடிஸ் அண்ட் ஜென்டில்மேன் ஐ டீம் இட் அண்ட் ஹானர் அண்ட் ப்ரிவிலேஜ் டு பி வித் யூ ஆல் ஹியர் திஸ் ஈவினிங் அட் த அவுட் செட் ஐ வுட் லைக் டு ஆஃபர் மை கங்க்ராச்சுலேஷன்ஸ் அண்ட் குட் விஷஸ் டு ஆல் த பாய்ஸ் அண்ட் கேர்ள்ஸ் ஹூ ஹாவ் கம்ப்ளீட்டட் தேர் கோர்சஸ் ஆஃப் ஸ்டடி இன் திஸ் யூனிவர்சிட்டி அண்ட் ஹாவ் பிகம் எலிஜிபிள் டு ரிசீவ் டிகிரி அண்ட் டிப்ளமோஸ் அட் த கான்வர்கேஷன் டுடே Now, the purpose of education is to help an individual to grow in accordance with his abilities and aspirations so that he may be able to render active and useful service to the community and the country. I think you will agree with me that education is an asset to develop and equip young men and women to earn a recent livelihood. In the past, three was not much scope in the educational system but the development of initiative and creativity. After independence, necessary attention was given to the educational system so that the young men and women might be encouraged to think on their own. At present, it seems to me that our educational institute students are factories of learning which turn out a large number of youngsters who find it difficult to fit themselves into life i would like to point out that failure in getting employment in spite of their degrees and diplomas creates a feeling of frustration in them in the pa- first place it must be understood that present day education is the product of circumstances not within our control as you are all aware there has been a great increase in population in our country in order to meet the needs of the student community the government have to set up more and more educational institutions even though education is an important activity the government cannot pay all its attention to it alone it is true that the government have to concentrate on and other departments of national life also and see that the resources are reasonably distributed so on this occasion i would like to request the private agencies to play a big role in starting and running educational institutions further common people must realize that education must be in accordance with the abilities of young men and women and that all of them need not go through the same type of education in their own interest and in the interest of national progress next i would like to say a few words about the role of teachers in imparting education it may not be too much to say that the quality of the teacher is the quality of education but now the role of the teacher has become very important and his work is often judged by the results he is able to produce at the public examinations the next point i would like to refer is to the role of university grants commission this commission has done good work and extended the scope of its activities and i am happy about it it has not only confined its attention to the central universities but also taken great interest in the affairs of the affiliated colleges moreover i am glad to state that it has also been taking keen interest in the welfare of the teachers working in these colleges as a matter of fact i am very glad about it i would therefore say that in the very glad about it i would therefore say that in the interest of keeping up the standard of the teaching profession it is necessary that the commission should pay more attention to this the central universities are in a very happy position they are the first charge on the finances of the central government so far as education is concerned the other state universities are also in the same happy position they get money from the state governments and other sources but when i come to private colleges i think they are not in a sound position they do not get any money from the state governments if they get something it is very small at the same time private donations are trying up private donations which used to keep these institutions going in the past are not available now so it is necessary to look after these private colleges this can be done if the university grants commission devotes some attention to them i am sure the youngsters who receive their degrees and diplomas today will bear in mind the influence of this university which has built up great values in education through its activities i offer my best wishes to the graduates for purposes life